Rob and Slim Show, S. Anthony Thomas. Hello, good sirs. Hello. How you uh, doing? See the entire family's here today. Yes, yeah. we brought Slambo back. He, he, we got him to uh, cut school today, S. Anthony. Yeah. <laughs> well, it looks like I'm look. I'm, I'm actually looking at you right now on Facebook, and it looks like you cut something else. I see a head sitting there. Oh yeah, yeah. We had another uh, character on the show, and he uh, stabbed, or she stabbed this. Uh... Yeah, he, she, need, or he, <laughs> they, they needed to stab each other. This, uh, this mannequin uh, life mate of his and shiz, and it, it they just had a it, it went to shit. It they, went to shit. They had a domestic. Yeah, it was dispute. a domestic dispute, but uh, cops haven't shown up yet. Listen, uh, the land, uh, first of all, you need all three of you need to stop lying. Because I know if I did a DNA swab on that head, I could identify all three of you. <laughs> Probably a fourth in the other room. Yeah. Might be oh, more yeah, than that. This is just from another person. Yeah, I'm sure there's an ass somewhere in that place. Get the black light on. Get the black light on us right now. So I got to be a black light, man. <laughs> oh, man. But you know, what, you know what that thing would light up? ridiculous, man. <laughs> I'm boycotting. I'm leaving right now, I said. How you doing, brother? Uh, not bad at all, good sirs. Not bad at all. I'm glad to, I'm glad to be back with you, you uh, three sick bastards. And, uh, <laughs> you got another was, show now, as right? As soon as, I, as soon as I clicked on, I'm hearing on dead kids. And I'm like, what the hell? Nickelodeon. I'm like, what the hell is this? <laughs> yeah, Dora the Explorer killed a kid between her yeah, legs. Yeah, dude. I don't know what's going on in the world. It's, it's fucked up. It's fucked up. Hopefully, uh, our new politicians will fix it. Uh, I don't know though. <laughs> oh well, I'm sure that this new uh, this new bucket of uh, happiness that's coming in, and the old bucket of happiness. That, uh, first of all, I'm just glad that the the election is over with. Because um, <clears throat> if I see one more commercial on my damn television, I'm gonna Elvis the bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I don't know why if everybody's sick of both parties, why not just all vote like Green Party or Libertarian or something? Like make a fucking change. I have like, been I've been an independent voter since I started voting. Nice. Nice. You know, I'm not a Democrat nor am I a Republican because you, <clears throat> you know, it's, it's like a, it's like being the hot girl around political times because when they, people find out that you're not neither one, I'm like, why did I? It'll be worth it just to pick one, just to cut down on the phone calls. Mr. Thomas, I understand that you're an independent voter, and we've called up to slurp your nuts to get you to vote for our party. Oh, so you're registered as an independent, and they're even calling you. damn you. right. Wow, dude. I got a text the other day. I don't know. Did you guys get texts? I got a... Yeah. Uh, where's this one? Let me see. And I, it's like how they even got my cell phone number. I don't know. Uh, inbox. Uh, impeach Trump. Impeach Kavanaugh, impeach Pence. There will be no peace, no civility in this country until the rapist Nazi GOP is gone forever. Vote six, November six. Hashtag blue wave. <laughs> like, yeah, no, I, I, I don't know why you're texting me. Leave me the fuck alone. Like, yeah, it's just as, I, as soon as I switched uh, and got my new cell phone. Literally, the first thing I did was set it up. The second thing I did was put myself on a no no call list. I gotta do that. <laughs> I guess I gotta do that. I, I, I know they were texting now. Shit! Shit! You know how fast I, I my my thumb is so fast blocking people. <laughs> I am the same <laughs> and way. Rejecting phone calls. <laughs> I guarantee you, if we ever did any thumb wrestling, I'm killing everybody. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's Anthony though. You got a new but, podcast, right? You got a second podcast. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's really weird because I I, I have I've had the first one, the, um, the S. Anthony Says podcast. That's five years old. Okay. And I do the weirdest crap I want to do on that podcast. Um, it's like it's just like it's like the weirdest crap. It's the kind of stuff that I, I, when I when I do stand up, I'm going nah. Oh, like the experimental <laughs> stuff. He's like, yeah, don't do that there, <laughs> and, I, and I put it over there. <laughs> you know what I mean? And Dude, the, I love the it though. Podcast is funny, but it's it's like I don't even curse on it, but it's still it's still me. But it's like, there's me, and then there's TV version me. Oh, <laughs> that's TV, Anthony. That's TV, TV S. Anthony. So, 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 the, so the, the second one, the S. Anthony Thomas show, that's the TV version of me. It's, and then, and then they, I, I treat them completely differently. Nice. So is, is the TV I version, TV like, educational? <laughs> well, I, I, I did ask, well, yes, Big Bird is there. <laughs> the one you're talking about, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm <laughs> I was going to say, I got a stab mannequin head if you want to borrow it. <laughs> but, uh, you know what? Um, you're going to have to boil that thing first. 
you know, but it, it's, it's just it's just weird to do two of them yeah. because I do one on Saturday and one on Sunday, and uh, every wow. once in a while I'll slip up, uh, and that's, I remember I did one whole episode and I didn't realize I was doing the the clean one. And I went, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you did the wrong show, <laughs> man. That's it. <laughs> I was like, yeah. I just, I just put it in Audacity and chopped out all references to what show it was. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to do you know, uh, interviews on one? Like, are you going to do um, interviews on the new one? As a matter yeah, I'm, I'm actually doing an interview with an old friend of mine uh, tomorrow, uh, midnight my time, because he's in L.A., and that'll be on one of the shows coming up. On the, this one will be on the... Uh, Yes, Anthony Thomas show one. Is it Mr. Hartlet, Mr. Hentless, or Mr. Punch a lot? Well, those two people are not comedians. <laughs> All those oh, are hilarious. Okay, yeah, dude, they sounded hilarious. <laughs> two friends, and one you said just never gets a hint, and one as soon as he has like a sip of beer just wants to fight everybody. <laughs> That's the, yeah, that is that is because he, I, I, I was talking about that, and I kept asking my friends, I said, "Do you have friends like that?" And they kind of do. That's why people. That, that that episode was like you could when you look at the numbers, you can see that people really you know <laughs> related to that one. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's one, you know what I mean? Because uh, let's be honest. Is there a hintless among the three of you there? Slim probably. Probably is Slim. There a Mr. Punch a lot there. <laughs> nah, I don't know. I don't think so. No, not really. Like, I don't know. I started doing the P90X again. And when oh, I, yeah. When, when I am. He's both those guys. Is I, I kind of like both those guys. Yeah, because, like, when, it, when I do start working out, uh, I, I get, like, I can get angry. Like, I will get angry and just want to fucking punch something. So it's, yeah. Wow. I didn't yeah. know that. You're Uh-oh. too. Hey, whatever bad you people. do, if you're doing P90X, do not. Put Eye of the Tiger on in the background. Ooh. You might kill somebody. I'm gonna yeah. have to do that. <laughs> Last time he started this, he's like, "I want to fight somebody on the show." We got our buddy Christian in, and he fought him. And now he wants a rematch. <laughs> yeah, I want a rematch. Whatever. I love it. It's just... <laughs> you'll, 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 you'll have the Eye of the Tiger music on. You'll be doing pull-ups with nails hanging out of the wall. <laughs> <laughs> you cut your head into a mohawk and start calling people food and sucker. <laughs> He'll lock himself into, like, a, a fucking dim room and just slam his head on the fucking wall. <laughs> That's how we're going to find him. I hey, love who? it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, clever lag is, shit. Is P90X, is P90X still out there? Um, so, I, you know, I actually went to uh, the guy who does it, uh, Tony Horton. Uh, I went to his mm-hmm. YouTube channel, and the last video he posted was a year ago. And it was still a video about... Him talking about P90X, but you could tell he wasn't really getting any money on it anymore. Oh, I was thinking like everybody he... tried to fight their friends and he got sued for it. <laughs> no, no, no. Like it's definitely <laughs> still around. But like when he was talking about it, he was just like, you know, you can skip some stuff. And he like in the video, he's he gave con- up on in, his in, own. In the him. video, he's constantly promoting this drink, this Shakeology. Like throughout the whole thing, he's like, you gotta buy Shakeology. Where like in this interview he did a year ago, he doesn't even mention it. He's like, you can eat whatever you want. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I have this, I have this bad feeling that one of the, you're going to do an interview six weeks from now. It's going to be Tony. He's going to come in live and he's going to be have a really big fat gut. <laughs> we should, we P90X. should try to you get Tony or that would no, be no, 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 Have cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to have a half-eaten box of like Drake's cakes. Oh, I love yeah, it. You're damn right. <laughs> Have fun. Let yourself go. Why waste two hours when you're doing crunches and stuff? Just go watch some MILF porn like everybody else. <laughs> so speaking of shit food, did you see the new burger that uh, Burger King has? It's a cheesesteak Whopper. It oh, looks And on God. sourdough, on sourdough Oof. bread, it looks amazing. I don't know. A cheesesteak Whopper. Mm. Yeah. So. You know what the funny thing is, is like they they did the cheesesteak whopper and they probably find I, I saw the commercial on YouTube and they they found like three or four people allegedly from Philadelphia. Oh, uh, they got the <laughs> Philly crew. But they're like, yeah, you know what? As a matter of fact, this is as good as a Philly cheesesteak. <laughs> you actually walked up to a person in Philadelphia and handed them that hamburger and going, is this as good as a Philly cheesesteak? Uh, the, you, you should just close your eyes, close and close your eyes and concentrate, and wait for the slapping sound. <laughs> dude, <laughs> dude, the people in uh, Philly, Slambo loves the, Philly. The people in Philly will make fun of you just for calling it a Philly cheesesteak. Like I'm not even. <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah, you you know you're it's like it's like it's like going hey, I love Germany, Germany. 
when you're in Germany. <laughs> you don't have to call it a Philly cheesesteak. You're actually in Philadelphia. <laughs> Give me a Philly cheesesteak. Yeah, you get like you get the shit kicked out. You of you. you literally the guy behind the counter would go what? <laughs> hey, hey, what are you talking about? This is Philadelphia. You ain't got to say Philly cheesesteak. You could just say cheesesteak whip, right? You want onions on it or not? Now get out of line and let the next person come up and order with cheesesteak. Who knows how to order with cheesesteak? Look at this jerk off over here talking about Philly cheesesteak. Hey, let's take him around the back and kick the crap out of this jerk off over there. I'm just, I'm just picturing this big fat Guido that, with yeah. that greasy like. That's exactly how it goes down. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Because you know, I used to, uh, I used to go to those ones all da- downtown all the time, and I walk up. I'm from here, so you know, from here in Philadelphia. Or, I should, well, I'm actually not in Philadelphia now, but you get the point. And I go, uh, hey, uh, you know, give me a blah blah blah. Yeah, and there's a guy behind me. Hey, um, I would like to have one of your Philadelphia cheesesteaks. Listen, to this freaking guy over here. <laughs> Where you from? They hey, shame them. I was up there. <laughs> I love that they just shame you. <laughs> If you get it wrong, that's, that's how it should be. Oh my God! Happy belated birthday, S. Yes, Anthony. I saw you turned. Well, uh, thank you, sir. Five zero. I am fifty. What did you do? Sweet. To celebrate. I looked down to check and see if my junk still worked. <laughs> <laughs> did it? Thank God, yes. Oh, thank <laughs> God. Another ten years. <laughs> I don't know. It's, 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 it, it, the funny thing about it is uh, you think you know what 50 is going to be like. And I thought the worst. I, I mean, when I was 30, I thought, okay, my balls will fall off. Uh, I'll be half blind. I uh, won't be able to get up the steps. Yeah. No one will want to get it on me. And I got I turned to 50. I'm like, you know, this is pretty much just like 30, except it, I, I recover from workouts like 20% slower, but that's about it. Yeah. I was going to say, what would 50, what would 50 year old you tell 20 year old you? Uh, have more sex. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I would say, dude, uh, save money, and uh, I'm going to introduce you to the stuff that's called podcasting that you're going to start doing 25 years from now. Right? Imagine you had like a start on that. You'd be like the first. You do. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to start right now. Granted, you're going to have to stand outside with antennas on your head because uh, the technology doesn't exist yet, and you'll probably be arrested, but still. <laughs> Got rabbit ears and tinfoil on your head. I love it. <laughs> Truth be told, you know what it will be? There will be there's about seven women I dated between then and now, and I would go to me and go, to no. Stay away. <laughs> Stay away from them. Them. You got. You give no, them a list. No, I don't care what her boobs look like. No. <laughs> I'm you in the future. I've slurped them. It was great. It was fantastic. But your clothes will be on fire for stuff you didn't do. <laughs> wait, wait. Did it, did you have a girl that actually lit your clothes on fire? Uh, one pair of underwear. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. And uh, if you. But the funny thing about it was, and this is the part that was worse. If I actually did the thing, if I actually nailed one of her friends, I would just go, hey, that's the cost of doing business. <laughs> I didn't even know the person she was talking about. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. I had never met the person. <laughs> so I'm sitting there going, you burned my drawers that cost me 20 That's yet yeah, When you're young and in shape, you buy drawers that cost a little bit of money. I never did that. Those are dollar store under where I wouldn't shape. have given a damn. But those things cost 20 <laughs> This is, you know, $20. I'm like, hey. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> It burned a sock or something. I bought the cheap ones. <laughs> Burn a sock with a hole in it. <laughs> I burned the drawers with the, with the, with the, you know, the, the ones right there that you can't clean. You burn that. <laughs> yes. God <laughs> cool damn. That one. You know, but that, but that, but you know, but I mean, it's, it's you always when you look back and you you think about what what young you did, and and uh, what older you knows. Most of it is, is that, and there's a couple of, I would have said, listen, oh, there's this company called Google, a company called Apple. Yes. And a company called Microsoft. Sirius XM, whatever. Make, you, yes. You're making some money right now. I need you to invest in those three companies. Right. And then you'll be able to nail, you'll be able to get it on with a, a bunch of babes of this thing that will be invented in the wild called Instagram. Uh, <laughs> be a collection of super attractive women with oh. breasts and delicious buttocks. And invent, and and, and invent Instagram. 
That's what you got to tell yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 I put it to you. Dude, the funny thing about Instagram is it's, it's a great place to see cool stuff. But if you're a celebrity or a basketball player or something like that, it's kind of like a catalog to you. What's that? Like? They just sit there going, I want to. They just sit there and look at the hot women and go, Who are you yeah, going to get it on with her? <laughs> like, still, celebrity. That's all, that's all this. If you notice, every time you see a sports star, who are they standing next to? Um, IG model, delicious buttocks, and yummy boobs. And I, <laughs> like, it's like a catalog to them, you know? We got to get and you uh, uh, an Instagram slambo. You can oh. be like an internet Instagram model. Oh, man. We'll get you sponsored. <laughs> Oh man, all that hair! <laughs> Get you some beard cream. Oh, they oh, like the hair. All that Flat, body hair. Belly T. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dead body. Oh man, I had. I'm gonna death. hire out Slambo. I'm gonna hire out Slambo to give bad news to people. I saw what you said about the the people that the, the PC spoke. <laughs> you said give them give them the finger and move on. I'm gonna hire you out. When there's somebody pissing me off, I'm going to have you just saying. roll in and tell them to go after themselves. Oh, please, please, come here, please. Uh, yeah, so Anthony just wants to tell you to go after yourself. Your mother's a whore. Uh, your dad's a punk. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> See, we're getting you jobs. Absolutely. We're, we're creating jobs. We're, we're better than politicians. <laughs> I, know, wouldn't, I mean, wouldn't you love – I mean, I would, just, I would just get a kick out of it. I just would love to have an honest politician – yeah, good luck with that. We actually <laughs> talked like Slambo does. That was good. <laughs> yeah. We had him run. I, was, I, would, I mean, just imagine that combination. Like, I would like health care. Yeah, you're going to get your health care, but you're going to have to pay a little more, all right? Now shut your mouth <laughs> and deal with it before I slap the crap out of you. Secret <laughs> service. Stomp that guy right there. He's a jerk off. Get him. <laughs> oh, love it. Love it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Are you going to be running, Slambo, for the next uh, presidential race? Oh, you better believe it. All right. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to get that started, too. When's that, like, two well, years? The name alone is going to get you 20% of the people. <laughs> he ran in 2016. Oh, yeah. But he didn't win, I guess. I yeah, don't know. it was a rough, rough. He, I, I used to book, uh, S. Anthony, I used to book real politicians, like people running independently and all, to debate him. He actually debated uh, Vermin Supreme. Oh, he was a he he was a sharp guy. He was amazing. He was sharp. We had a we had a guy from the Prohibition Party. We had a we had a homeless guy. We had a bunch of different guys running. That Slambo, a debated. socialist. Yeah, socialist was his favorite. None oh, of them, man. You know, none of them were as uh, as sharp as Vermin Supreme. Man. Vermin, Vermin Supreme was great. Yeah. Your first and your best. Yeah, that happened. We when we went downhill from there. <laughs> yeah. How did you how did you like how did you like the pressure of that? Oh, uh, you know, I mean, I mean, Vermin Supreme, man, he really... He, he really he, had you. Yeah, man, he, he had me by the balls. I think that was the lie. only debate you lost. Yeah. I think all the others you won except for the Vermin. Yeah, the Vermin had me straight straight up, he had me by the sack, man. <laughs> I, I couldn't move. You were, <laughs> you were damn near the Floyd Mayweather of debating. You got the one loss and it effed up your perfect record. <laughs> You should just you should just do like some boxers do, and get a bunch of guys that suck at debating and then tear them up to build your record up to ninety and and O, and then get the hell out of there. <laughs> then you can just sit there and brag. I would get you, I would debate you, but as you can see with my ninety and O record, I would tear you apart. So I'm gonna let you go this time. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you build up the you, know, you see you see boxers do that all the time the guy fights and you know drags the guy off the street are you homeless yet I'll do it for a dollar come in I want to box you want to know want to know you know you see it on YouTube all the time guys you see the guys that these guys like they come into they get into the this the limelight and their record is 25 and all you go oh this is pretty impressive then you go on YouTube and look who they fought one guy still in a wheelchair in the ring and three dead dudes. Three <laughs> dead dudes. <laughs> you know, fought his grandma and almost lost. She almost knocked his ass out. And came back to win. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and that's what I'm talking about. That's Anthony. Are you starting comedy again? Had you taken a break, sir? Uh, yeah. You know, it's, it's going to be. It's, it's really weird because it's going to start again. I'm going to start again in maybe February or March. The only problem I have is people are going to, because I haven't done it in a while, like regular shows in a while. So people, I already know, that because I, I told people it was going to happen, and they're already expecting me to be as good as I was when I stopped. Oh. And that ain't going to happen for about four months after I start. 
you know, it's like being an athlete, they got an injury, and you're coming back from an injury, and then they go, well, well, you know, when you were here last time before you broke your, you had the ACL tear, you dunked over six dudes, man. How come you can't dunk over six dudes your first game back? Right. You, you, you hit them, you just dunk. I said, and, you know, you're going, yeah, can I get some games under, <laughs> you know, under my belt for yeah. Why so had you taken time off? It's going to be that, and then I'll be back to normal. Why had you taken time off? The funny thing, I was working this club, uh, and, and it stopped, and then I had to, not to bring in everything down, but a lot of sick relatives I had to take care of. Oh, and, yes. I had to take care of those things, and then uh, and then uh, we had to take care of those. And then I, uh, you know, and then uh, I had to take care of that. But, then, uh, but now I'm back. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know if you were focused on other projects more. Yeah, no, I do understand that, though. You got to, family first. Family comes first. Yeah, but they, you know, but they didn't heal up fast enough, so I had them all shot. I was just gonna say you had Slambo take care of them. <laughs> I was gonna say, well, see, he's good for the word stuff. I don't want to. Oh. I, I had to get. I, you know, I had already hired the hitmen already. You don't I want blood on his Slambo hands. Was available. Yeah. You know, at least that's what I'm telling the police officers as I wipe off all of the. Uh, the uh, gunpowder off my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do but, you know? Well, I'm looking um, forward to going back. It's it's one of the things that, that it's, I'm looking forward to going back. It's it's one of the joys of my life is standing on stage in front of hundreds of people or whatever, and doing my thing because it's it's different than podcasting, which I love both shows. But you know, it's it's like when you do when you do a podcast, you can literally just take a story and spread it out. You can talk about something serious. But when it's time to stand on the stage with stand up, that is that is like. You know, it's like getting a phone with stock androids. Like, this is what I do. Here it is. Bam. <laughs> you know, no fat. That's it. It's like sizzling back in the 70s and 80s. Remember that bacon with no fat on it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I made, a, I made them That's watch uh, the commercial ones. Because yeah. I don't think Slim no, or Slim I had not heard of sizzling because it's been away for a while. You can sizzle yeah, fat like, or you can sizzle It's like just straight up sizzling. Just meat, no fat. Here it is. Put it on your damn sandwich. Eat it and shut up. That's what the fuck was sizzling? As Anthony was it? Do we know what it was? Uh, I don't even. Want, I don't want. Uh, you know what scrapple is? Yes, hundred percent hooves and claws. And beaks. beaks. <laughs> I ate. I used to eat. I mean, my family. My family's from the my my uh, my, uh, my grandparents from the Carolinas. So there's you know you know I'm from this that and the other so. I grew up eating scrabble. Yeah, this is this is incredible. It's delicious. And, all that and, that. and one day I saw the the package in the trash can, mm. and I was just going to push the trash down because my little lazy ass didn't want to change the bag. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> right? But... I picked it up and looked at the ingredients, and I'm like, oh, 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 God, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I, I think I see the names of some people I know on the back of this. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had scrapple. <laughs> But uh, Slambo, you have, right? I mean, yeah, yeah, I, good, I've eaten. Don't read the package, bro. I just don't. <laughs> I, I do like it, but it is. It, it, it does have some nasty shit in it. Yeah. It really does. Name one. Oh, uh, there's like snouts and there's hearts. And really? Oh. Pretty sure there's buttholes mm -hmm. in it. Ah. Uh, <laughs> it says that? It says buttholes in the uh, ingredients? ingredients? Probably does. <laughs> yeah. There's everything you can think of. <laughs> yeah, when, when I... And when I saw, like, the first thing I saw was snouts. And I went, wow. really? Yeah. Wow. Seriously. No. It, it, oh. it, it'd be, it'd be, it'd be, you know, sometimes when you read, if you read the ingredients on some of the packaging that you get for foods, yeah. it'll say that, uh, it'll say, like, 0.000% foreign materials or something like that, which basically means, yeah, there's some bugs in here, so what? Armpits. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's some stuff in there. You know, a couple of a couple of employees didn't go uh, try to start a union. They're in there. There's uh, you know, there's Jeff's ring finger in there. <laughs> yeah, it's like you know, it is what it is. Sometimes the bathroom gets clogged up, and we don't feel it. We don't know. Yeah, <laughs> you know, and so there's all sorts of crap in there. And and and, and I'm sitting there going. I was eating this, man. I fried it up. I mean, I like to put ketchup on stuff. I was loving it. it, it yeah, yeah, but it's like, uh, because uh, cause on, on Facebook, I I, uh, I did a thing where I was just teasing my friends, and I, I, I uh, let me ask you this, you guys, this, you, this is you're in New Jersey, right? Yeah, right, yeah, yep. Okay, you're all three Jersey guys, right? Yep. yep. Okay, now, and this they broke my balls on Facebook like, a, like <laughs> this, they tried, they damn near destroyed me on Facebook in a funny way. I had I like crab cakes. Okay? Okay. Go to the store. Like crab cakes, man. Get a crab cake. I want a crab cake sandwich. I get a crab cake sandwich. I put ketchup on my crab cake sandwich. 
I don't, but it sounds like it would it would be great. Like it doesn't sound like anything bad. Nothing different than really cocktails. So I do the same yeah. though with uh, with hot dogs. I put ketchup on hot dogs, and people are like, "No mustard." Wait, what? Uh, it will I always put ketchup you. on my I, hot dogs. Yeah. <laughs> I put, I put mustard, ketchup. I put everything on my damn hot dogs. Yeah. But all I did was put ketchup on my crab cakes. I'm telling you, it was like a, it was like I don't know, 50 comments or something like that. <laughs> like you, you ruined it. I was like, good lord. How could? How dare you, yeah. S. Anthony? You sack. You what is sack wrong religious. With you? Uh, some guy goes, I ought to come there in a New Jersey and drop kick you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck them! I'm putting ketchup on everything. I put ketchup on eggs. I love uh, ketchup on like scrambled eggs. I did that this morning. I had cheese eggs this morning. Oh, that sounds so good. You know, you ever had cheese eggs? Yes. Just oh, melt yeah. some cheese okay, in them. And I, and I put ketchup on, and I like. I look at the lady next to me, looking at me like I'd had a dead cat ass in there, and I <laughs> ate it right in front of her. I said, "You're damn right." <laughs> oh my god, it's the best. Fuck, to yeah. put that sriracha sauce, that hot pepper stuff you can get, that stuff's really mm-hmm. good on eggs too. Man. I heard you I wanted like... to put that in your eyeball, Slambo. Oh, oh, I got a bottle. It's All so, right. <laughs> I mean, it's so good. <laughs> That's Anthony. We yeah, had to wrap put... this up, dude. But it's been a okay, blast. my brother. It's been great. Where can everybody find you? Well, you know what? I, I, I usually run off a, a list of things, but I'm going to make it very easily. Go to Twitter. <laughs> Go to at S. Anthony Thomas. All my crap is in the bio. Now make it real easy for everybody. Awesome, dude. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. And stop feeling up that that uh, that, that tail. <laughs> you saw that. <laughs> I was figuring the hole. <laughs> <laughs> Give it back to Slambo so he can do what he needs to do. What a hole. <laughs> I think at like 9 o'clock I might start making out with it. All right. <laughs> I mean, again, don't, you ain't, you're not fooling anybody. <laughs> for the for the fourth time today. Where's the neck call? <laughs> the neck call is clean for now. All right, S. Anthony, we'll talk to you soon, my man. Thank you, my brothers. Take care. You Have too. Long, man.